Hey guys. Hey guys. Sorry, so I need to be out. So yeah, I'm sorry that there wasn't a vlog miss yesterday. One day off this week. I have been nonstop working six days of the week. Um, just trying to avoid being here um, at all costs. So, yeah, you know, this already feels like um, ever since everything that's been going on, this already has felt like. Como si no en mi casa. Like, I knew that this wasn't my home. But after everything, it's felt like more like it's not my home. You know, like, como el dinero mío, like my money means nothing. So, I've just been avoiding being here as much as I possibly can. Um, nothing personal. I just don't feel comfortable. Um, so... I just didn't want to spend my day off editing videos and doing stuff. So I just did my own thing. But it's okay because I know with hard work and determination, one day I'm going to have my own home. You know, and everything is going to be different and I won't have to go through anything ever again. Well, not say that you always, you always have something that you're going to face, but it'll be just different. So we're going to clean this good.
my God, I'm soaking wet. Fuck me. What are you guys saying? I'm sorry that I haven't really spoken much. Like I said. Yeah. At the end of the day, I do on my own. My very own place. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a successful little YouTuber, and I'm posting my videos for Vlogmas. And I'm walking down the Savage at 20 runway, in my mom's and my body snatched. Oh. <laughs> what movie did I get that from? Let's see if y'all know me. I can be whatever I want to be.
Give me the strength that I need. Lord, give me the strength that I need to get through this day. <sighs> Hope my Tuesday is going well. I'm soaking wet and I'm deep cleaning a bathroom before I gotta go to work. That's how my Tuesday is going. Lord, give me the strength that I need. Lord, give me the strength that I need. Lord, give me the strength that I need to get through the day. your baseboards. When I was doing cleaning, like as a maid, the one thing my customers would check and be anal about was the baseboards. A lot of people forget to clean the baseboards. I personally hate baseboards because you have to clean them. So in my house, I won't be having any of these. And I think that I find them to be a little dated and not modern. talking yeah the baseboards are very important have to clean the walls. The walls carry more stains than you think.
Thank you guys for spending time with me while I'm cleaning. I know I'm not like providing much content. I'm sorry. But let's take a little break. Okay, guys. <sighs> I have been feeling overwhelmed, to say the least. I've been feeling overwhelmed. Um, I've been feeling overwhelmed. And um, I'm trying to manage it on top of everything else that I have going on in my personal life. So I'm not, I'm not trying to make any excuses, but I guess I share this so that you guys can see that, like, as you go on through life, the saying is the more money, the more problems. When I was living in the truck and I didn't have anything, my biggest problem was getting a job, getting into a place and paying bills. And now that I'm here with a job, in a house, paying bills, um, life shows you that it is filled with another round of obstacles that you have to overcome. And I came into this with, I guess, the, um, not, I don't want to say ignorance, but with the idea that this was going to be easy. I thought that working my way up from the truck and getting a job and getting into a place was the hard part, but it isn't. This is even harder than living in the truck um, because I have had to get adjusted to living with other people and um, all the challenges that comes with that, as well as the challenges of maintaining and keeping up with work, you know? For me, I'm not just your average worker. I'm not gonna go to a job and just come in and not give my all because I need job security. So I need to make myself valuable to a company because you only are your worth based on what you can offer to an establishment. So when I go to work, I go above and beyond. I don't just sit on my ass. I am constantly thinking of ways to make myself stand out so that how I got that dollar raise, that was from hard work, okay? I'm the only girl that within less than a year, I got a raise. None of the other girls got a raise. Um, not to my knowledge. So I worked for that. I worked hard for that. So um, it's a lot of pressure on me because I'm living paycheck to paycheck. So if I lose my job, I lose everything. I lose the place because I have, I have no money saved up. I have no money in the bank. I don't have anything. So, um, so for me, it's just not been a challenge, but it does take up a lot of my energy to make sure that I got this all together as well as trying to make ends meet like you know with things going on here and I know you guys want me to fight more but where where do I have the time to take people to court and to fight to do things requires money and it requires time and I don't have that because I work six days out of the week guys I only am off Monday Monday. I'm only off Monday. 
and you know, like I sometimes wish that I sometimes wish that my landlord knew all that I had to overcome to get into this place. Because maybe, maybe she will understand that, like, like, I needed this to be a sanctuary. And I know it's not anyone else's job to make me feel comfortable. I completely understand that. But um, I'm just tired of feeling like I'm under this pressure cooker. And I don't know. Sometimes I just wish that I had. But there's no point in wishing because you just got to go out there and get it yourself. Like, I know that, you know, like, I know that I always have to be rational. And that's the problem is that. I don't get to just dream limitlessly. I have to be rational and I have to think about everything. And every small decision can have a major impact of my life. And I feel this immense pressure because I've just been going through some stuff at work. And to make a long story short, like... I had to tell my manager that I'm trans. I told two of my managers. And my managers, because based on the situation and the fact that I said something about it, had to tell the other managers. And now the three bosses know. So everybody higher up knows that I'm trans. And there's been speculations with the girls and the security guards have been asking the girls to kind of like figure out for them if I'm trans or not. And it's just gotten to be a lot. And I've had to tell my manager, I broke down to her and I said, this isn't a fun, you know, like it doesn't make me feel good knowing that I have to work because I got to pay bills. And I come to work and I smile and I provide good energy and I work above and beyond. And I sit here in silence and I deal with people talking about me. And I deal with the security guards laughing about me. And I deal with the girls asking me questions sometimes. And I don't say nothing because I'm like, if I don't feed into it, it's not going to happen again. What happened in South Carolina is not going to happen again. And I'm not making it trying to happen. And I don't want to be the freak at work. I don't want to be the trans girl at work everybody is talking about but I gotta keep it together because I gotta fucking work and I've been applying to jobs and it's just hard to go on job interviews when you already have a job and trying to set job interviews at a certain time that works with your schedule that you already have existing and it's just a lot it's just a lot and um I just feel like I'm failing miserably at life. And um, I know that it's like an oxymoron because I was worse. I was in the truck and I felt like I was failing in life. And now I'm in a room and I feel like I'm failing in life. And I have a job and I feel like I'm failing in life. I just feel like I'm failing all the time. All the time. And um, it sucks and it's hard. And I try to do little things to make myself happy and to uplift myself and wear makeup and put on clothes and try to just walk around like the appearance of everything is just perfect and it's not crumbling and crushing me and I'm not breaking under the pressure but I'm breaking under the pressure I'm breaking under the pressure I'm breaking under the pressure and I know that I've been through worse but I hate using that as an excuse I hate telling myself girl you got this you've been through worse girl you got this you've been through worse because how many days how many times in a row can you tell yourself girl you got this you've been through worse before you feel like okay i understand i've been through worse but damn can a bitch get a break can i get just one break like just come on now like 
I don't get a break at home. I can't be comfortable here. Uh, I, I can't be comfortable at work now. It's just, just shitty. It's just shitty. It's just fucking shitty. And I just wish that I just... Sometimes I wish that, like... I wasn't... I don't know. Sometimes I wish I wasn't trans. Because if I wasn't trans, then... I don't know. I'm talking about any of this. It don't matter. None of it matters. None of it matters. Sometimes I ask myself. I wasn't trans. I would have probably grew up home. And maybe I would have had a better chance <sighs> What the fuck was I thinking? Sometimes I ask myself, what the fuck was I thinking coming to California, thinking that I could make this happen? I do the reviews for Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin and Savage X Fenty, and I, I post videos and I do TikToks, and it's just not sticking. fucking ask myself what the fuck was I thinking like did I really think I could come into California one of the most expensive places where there's the highest homeless rate did I really think that me you know I'm not gonna go into this self pity I don't got time for this I gotta clean and I gotta go to work so I don't even got time to feel bad for myself. I just gotta shut up and keep moving forward. Even though it gets hard. in
What is it being venomous? Would you like fairy tales? Would you like to hear about the Lord's Supper? You taught me this even moment where my fairy godmother would come in. Tales only exist in books. They don't exist in real life. So I've just got to pull it together and be my own fairy godmother and make my own dreams come true.
I know I'm strong. Trust me. I know I'm strong. <laughs> My strength is unmatched. I know that I'm gonna get through this. Near. So my vocal. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> this is how you know. TMI, but this is how you know she's a virgin. This is how you know she's a virgin. Untouched. <laughs> Just sitting. Remember that time I thought that I was going to do it? Well, it, didn't, <laughs> it did not happen. His pee-pee did not work. And luckily, I didn't Cause I would have been mad if I would have, you know, cleaned myself and then his, you know, pee pee was soft. I would have been mad. I would have been like, my G, I prepared for this. And you're telling me you can't perform? Get it together. Get it together. You a boss, bad bitch. You was the same bitch. I'm giving myself a pep talk right now. You was the same bitch that less than a year got a fucking raise off of your own merit. You the same bitch that every single time she had a motherfucking interview, even though it made you feel like shit, you would take a shower, a fucking cold shower at the beach, and get ready in a fucking Target bathroom, and you would go on every single interview, and even though none of them called you back, you didn't give up, you waited, and you waited, and you got this motherfucking job, bitch. You got it. I'm that bitch. Period. Ain't no bitch stronger than me. Ain't no bitch more qualified than me. Ain't no bitch who got the determination, the will, and the fight like how I have it. That's what I have to offer this world. And that's why I'm worthy and I'm valuable and I don't need to feel like shit. And I'm special and I have all that I need to succeed. Period. Period. Ja, boy, can stop. Tired of feeling bad and depressed and just shitty all the time. I'm tired of it. If people want to behave badly, that's them. If they want to make my life possible, impossible, that's them. But I'm not letting anybody or life or stress get the best of me. Because that, fuck that. Fuck that. Hashtag demonetized on YouTube, but fuck that. I've been through too much to fucking roll over and allow life to kick my ass anymore. Fuck you, life. You ain't gonna get the best of me. Have me out here sick, feeling depressed, can't eat, stressed out, my hair's falling out. No. Not doing this no more. I am healthy, wealthy, abundant, successful, strong, brave, tenacious, bold, unapologetic, beautiful, talented, worthy. 
all those things and more. Father, you know we need you. There's no more heart and soul. We're ready for your power. Now the King has come. Father, can you hear me now? Father, can you hear me now? Father, can you hear me now? Oh, we will say yeah. The bathroom is almost done.
Y'all not really talking to me. Starving, 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 starving. Like my stomach, I'm burping stomach acid. But I know if I eat, I'm gonna wanna take a little bit of a nap because I haven't been sleeping well. I've been sleeping and like, like I've been waking up at three o'clock in the morning, every single night. No puedo dormir. Like I think about. I spoke to a therapist about it, but I wake up like around three, two o'clock in the morning sometimes and I can't, oh, it's been every night that I've been doing that and I can't fall back to sleep because me pongo a pensar, I, I go and I start thinking about like death and one day we're all gonna die and um, I haven't accomplished anything that I wanted to accomplish and I'm scared of dying because I'm not ready to die because I haven't accomplished the things that I want to accomplish. And then I get scared because I don't know how to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. And I don't know if I'm on the right path. I don't know if I've made all the right decisions. And then I start questioning life. And I'm like, I don't want my life to just be this and then I die. And then it's just, it starts this whole vicious cycle. So I've been speaking to a therapist and she's been telling me that that's just like anxiety because of you know my life right now being so uncertain and that you know i just have to in those moments remind myself that i'm okay i'm living breathing thriving and 
that nothing is guaranteed. The only thing I can focus on is the present moment. And as long as I continue to move forward, what I want and desire will be mine with putting in the work. chance to know what time they're going to come tomorrow 10 30 no because i just need to know if you needed me out the room because i don't work into the afternoon and i wanted to sleep in
Now my room, on the other hand, she's not, she's not ready yet, but I'm tired. And I want to relax a little bit before work, so I'm going to call it quits right here. Like I said, I'm tired, and I got to work in a couple of hours, and I don't want to be tired at work. So I'm going to wrap up this video. It was fun talking to you guys today. I'm sorry about Vlogmas. Um, I haven't really spoken much about it. I'll do a video later on just really going into depth to everything, but not right now. Um, I got too much to focus on to like be distracted on anything that I can't control right now. So until next time, I love you guys for spending time with me while I was cleaning. Sorry I didn't talk that much. Um, thank you. I don't know if people are still on here listening to me. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so tired. All right.